Namaste. Have you been? Traditional yoga texts, because of their simple wordings and straightforward approach, are actually easy to understand on their superficial level. Yeah, but grasping their deeper essence is really the most challenging. We need to face them, go through them, practice the techniques, and then get out of them and come back again many times before we can attain and understand and feel and realize their essence. And this could easily be misunderstood. Yeah, so let me just talk about for this lesson the control of our sexual energy. Yes, the sexual energy is vital. For us men, it takes many drops of blood, I think six to eight drops of blood before we can produce a single drop of semen. So that's how potent our uh, uh, sperm, our um, sexual fluid is. Yeah, the ojas. Yeah, it's as close to the subtleness and the purity of the pranam. So yes, controlling the sexual function is important, will help us attain higher meditative states. However, it shouldn't be approached drastically. Control the means yeah, organic. Yeah. So you don't control it for the sake of like stopping it. Yeah. So controlling means yeah, it's not happening anymore. Yeah. So you don't have to think about that. It just doesn't happen. And this is difficult. Yeah. So we're not designed to do that. So we produce the sexual energy as yeah, creation to produce and procreate. Yeah. And then we don't want to approach this from its superficial essence. Because when we force our bodies you know, to stop the sexual urge, yeah, we're actually creating conflict in the brain because the brain yeah, is actually designed to release yeah, because this excess el electricity, it's excess energy, and it's uh, what autonomic yeah, function. So when you control it because the book says control without you really going through the techniques of actually gaining control over it in its organic sense yeah, is really dangerous. This could break your brain and it could cause what mental what, imbalances, spiritual heaviness, guilt, remorse, anger, and then when we control this function you know, for the sake of just awakening yeah. the kundalini energy, for example, because the book says, yes, when you control the sexual functions, it's easy to awaken the kundalini. Yes, yeah. but it's not awakening. Yeah. You are just disrupting the kundalini energy. You're irritating the energy uh, because you're suppressing yeah, this vital force from what? Doing its natural flow. We need to drain that excess energy out yeah, through the sexual yeah, purpose. And then when we do our sexual duties yeah, uh, with what? Yeah, love, respect, kindness, to pro uh, procreate, yeah, sanctity of life, divinity of life. Yes, it's beautiful. Yeah. But we control it just for the sake of awakening that energy. It's not you know, the essence of the practice. Yes. So the mind yeah, would have to surrender. And how can we allow the mind to accept that? We channel this energy to what? Yeah, higher observances. And this include what? Asana. Definitely, when you work on your postures, yeah, so your mind gets distracted or uh, directs its attention to the functions of your asana, the functions of the physical observances of yoga. Yeah. Therefore, you spend your energy to that yeah. instead of like being distracted. Yeah to what the, the world or the, the bodily, the lower functions, you know, which includes releasing the sexual energy. Pranayama. All right, so pranayama is the most effective 
in attaining an organic control of that function. Why? Okay. All right. So this is science, really. That's what I love about um, yoga. So when we do pranayama, yeah, so we do internal cleansing. It's part of it. And yeah, not only that, internal cleansing, we what? We harness more energy out of yeah, the oxygen we inspire. All right. And then this energy, yeah, together with the internal cleansing, will blend with the many chemical elements we produce inside the body. Yes. And this forms what? Yeah, the combination yeah, forms values. Yeah, values are subtle energy that our cells produce. Actually, the sexual energy is yeah, values. Yeah? So the many chemical uh, combination there and the pituitary gland releasing the hormones, this will produce the sexual energy and then this will drain out yeah, through our sexual expression. Yeah. Now, when we do the pranayama, we allow the prana yeah, to build inside the body and this allows us to blend the forces there. Okay, and then the nadis will be able to absorb. So now, yeah, your sexual energy, instead of you draining it through your sexual expression, your nadis absorb them. And the many thousand nadis, yeah, but the three of them are the most important. Ida, Pingala, Shishimna, and many thousands, yeah, if not 72,000, the book says, yes, many thousands. All right, so you use now, yeah your sexual energy because your nadis are open to absorb them. And that's where the control starts from. You drain internally because your nadis absorb yeah, the excess energy, which yeah, without the openness of the nadis, yeah, would have to drain out through our sexual expression. All right. And then when it happens, yeah, you don't feel the need to, to release it through the sexual function. Because the sensation is not there. Uh, so you're keeping the force inside you, the sexual force. And this sexual force has transmuted already into what? Life force. And this life force yeah, yeah, has many, like uh, I say, um, representations or manifestations. Yeah. One of them is sound. Yes, your sexual energy, when it blends with the prana, the many chemicals, that will produce sound. Right. The ringing sound, yeah, like crickets, yeah, the nada, yeah, some, yeah, can hear music, yeah, while meditating, yeah, sounds, yes, humming sound, yeah, the internal sounds we produce inside the body, the chakras, the many sounds I've, I've given talk about this, yeah, sounds, what vision, yes. Your sexual energy, when you're able to control it healthily, will transmute into what? Visions. So when you meditate, yeah, radiance, yeah. inspiration, creative energy. Yes, the creative energy, the lower functions of the creative energy, when you transmuted it into higher spiritual force, becomes yeah, an inspiration. Yeah, it resides here in the heart. Yes, this is very true. Yeah. The bodily energy coming from the hips, so when you're able to process them and refine them, will rise. And the energy coming from the brain descends, and they meet in the heart. So this is really the best place to blend these forces. And it's coming from the heart. Yeah. If the time happens that you need to express it and release it through sexual yeah, interaction, it is divine, it is sacred, because everything which comes from the heart is good. So we use this function now to express our love, respect, compassion, to pr uh, produce, to procreate. Yeah. So we can yeah, keep this um, cycle of life. Yeah. So we become like the source of creation. Yeah. But the foundation is divine. The foundation is sacred. Not just for the sake of just releasing it randomly. Because we feel the need to release it sexually. Yes. So, it's not an overnight, I say, process. No. no it takes many years. So, this is now where the, the techniques are really very important. Yes, the book says yes, control it, so it happens. No, it has to be approached from the foundation. The meaning, the essence of the text lies 
in between or even beyond the words we read. We need to really go through the process, face the challenges, many stumbles there, and then come out of them safely, sanely. Yeah. So when we go back again to redo the process, we experience and we understand you know, deeper as we go along. Yeah, so yes, um, really my advice is seek guidance. You know, because the teacher has been there many times and has come back many times, will be able to help you really. Yeah. So this may sound cliche, the teacher is important. The book is there. Yeah, so you gain inspiration. But they don't have to be yeah, taken out of their superficial, or understood or studied in their superficial meaning. I mean the words. We need to go through them for us to understand and really grasp and realize yeah, their meaning and essence. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a lovely day. Namaste.